Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. Thank you so much for clicking on to my video. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you get real comfortable. If you're returning, hey, welcome back. It's real nice to see you again. And thank you to all of those who like, comment, and subscribe. It's really been helping me grow. And I 1,000% appreciate that. And thank you for all your super thanks, your cash app donations, and those who book personal readings and join my members only. I appreciate all you put into the channel. That information will be in the description box if anybody wants to book a personal reading or join my members only. Let's get into it. This is going to be a general collective energy reading. So please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Divine, please protect me and guide me as I dive into this collect collective energy. Please give me clear and concise and precise messages. You know, right now we're going to call on the divine to lead us rather than just all the spirits. <laughs> Right off the bat, I'm feeling a lot of positive energy here. Like, I don't feel like this is going to be a negative reading. I feel like you'll relate to this if you're trying to build something, if you're actively seeking to leave maybe a job behind, if you're actively, um, I don't know, an artist, performance artist, dancer, or you just want to level up. I feel like a lot of you guys are about to level up in ways that even you didn't expect. You're going to be reaching higher heights that you've never seen before. I'm talking traveling the country. Some of you guys might already travel the country. <laughs> like you guys might be meeting and seeing people who are um, at the level you're about to reach. You might be meeting people who get to travel for work or do something laid back, creative writers here even. And I feel like you're going to find these opportunities through networking. These opportunities are going to fall into your lap. Some of you guys might be called, I keep telling you guys to go out. Some people are like, oh, I can't afford to go out and this and that. Look for free events <laughs> wherever your area is. Look for some free events. You know, uh, where um, I don't know. Some of you guys are going to like Afro punk festivals or things like that. Not even Afro punk, maybe Bohemian style, whatever. Even your local market, you might be talking to the person there. Some of you guys might be bakers and they're like, oh, well, we could use a new baker and blah, blah, blah. Don't worry if you don't have the skills or the qualifications. I feel like some of you guys might be holding yourselves back by overthinking things too. You feel like everything has to be perfect or everything has to appeal to a certain audience. Some of you guys might have too many different ideas hitting you at once where you don't know which way you want to go. Spirit is saying, just go, <laughs> just start just do you know and then you're not expected to be perfect nobody's expected to be perfect but you will get better as you go along and a lot of you guys are going to have people to help you especially if you've been thinking about scripting writing a show writing a play you're going to fit the per you're going to find the per perfect people who can finish your sentence, finish your story. You're going to find someone else who could design the outfit, finish the rest of your outfit, help you perfect it. And you know, it's going to be in good name and in good graces right now. Some of you guys, you just and if you're looking also for just a regular job just something to pay the bills here. We're not leaving those people out. I feel like ironically enough, some of you guys are going to find a job when you're out partying, especially if you live in a bigger city. I was just seeing that too. Somebody had tweeted, they were like, you know, what did they say? They're like, I found most of my networking and all of my 
jobs and everything I did by going out like five days a week, <laughs> like believe it or not. And he's like, this is how I felt my job. This is how they found like their creative team. They play in some sort of band now and they found everybody just going out by themselves and networking and talking to people. Even though that might seem counterproductive, a lot of people you notice in the career field it's more about who you know than what you're qualified for. So if you've been struggling, if Indeed isn't working, some of you guys might need to <laughs> find, I don't know, even try one of those friend apps they've been advertising. I'm going to pull some Oracle decks. I can Let's occur to, um, is that occur, can occur? I can agree, <laughs> whatever. I can agree that that has helped me a lot too. Cause I'm like, I think about how many odd jobs I work between finding real and stable jobs. I'm like, even my jobs at the select art fair, doing random ish. I used to work in like a, I worked at a couple of art jobs. One was the select art fair and it was just helping other artists to build their sets. Another one I ended up working at was like, um, I don't know, like a, a, a miniature studio. And then she put babies in it. And then, you know, she made the babies look like they were destroying like the huge, the, um, they, she made the babies look huge, like they were destroying these uh, miniature whimsical like living rooms and stuff and stuff and we just sit there and paint and help to the build on this person idea so i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be coming across the right people to help you execute this idea i've even had people note that how you know dealt you deal with situations so calmly like hey do you you working right now do you want to come back here and help us with this bar and <laughs> i'm like i don't even have a license to pour liquor they like girl that don't matter you know <laughs> you know so that's what i'm feeling like is going to happen for you some of you guys we got to release our bitterness and our thoughts and our our constrictions that we got from other people and the sour situations that we've been in making you feel like every person you're going to meet is going to be that sour yes there's going to be some sour grapes along the way but there's going to be so many sweet juicy big seedless grapes <laughs> that you're going to meet you got and some of you guys, I don't know, this might be fishing. Some of you guys might be getting jobs as fishermen. I don't know why that flashed in my head. Some of you guys might be into that and you might be out on the dock meeting people there and um finding a job. But there's a lot of money out there and there's a lot of opportunities out there. Um, and people will make room for you just to have you around. <laughs> Some of you guys uh, need to work on your, your own thoughts and negative thoughts of people. Okay, of course, follow your intuition, but also challenge your thoughts. Some people want, somebody might be trying to send you negativity because they know the only way they, they can't ruin your opportunities. They want you to ruin your own opportunities through bitterness and not trusting other people. Somebody asked me to touch on that situation that I said yesterday about the same entity body hopping from person to person. They're like, this relates. Why is that happening? <laughs> and, uh, and that's something hard for me to explain because it might be something different for each person. I do suggest you book a personal reading with me, but I'll try to touch on the, the reasons that I've noticed it happens. Some of you guys, it's been an inherited entity from your other family members. Some of you guys might note that this you could have literally had people in your family diagnosed with schizophrenia or bipolar number one disorder. Maybe they noted that they saw demons. Maybe you dealt with a lot of paranoia <laughs> apparitions. Some of this is happening because they want you to look more into that type of thing. Demons, angels, spirituality, healing, cleansing, even how to do and perform exorcisms and reikis. 
some of this you might have somebody that is actually like and i've met this before somebody that could have been like a a witch or a warlock and some people know how to astral project into different bodies or it's their thought forms of you that you know because when somebody creates a thought form <laughs> especially if it's someone closer to you it could be as simple as not even just a witch or a warlock but somebody like your sibling or your little sister or your bigger brother like they're never going to be liked i bet you if they go to that party then somebody is going to blah 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 blank blank they're blank blank and then when that person if there's a person there <laughs> like on a similar vibration or just not very in control of their thoughts or in a negative place or lacking sleep from work too, which causes them to have micro sleeps, which can make it easier for different entities or thought forms to subconsciously penetrate their mind and then fulfill that action of what someone else might have thought of you. Hope that cleared that up. Hope that resonated. That's why it might seem like it's the same thing. Some of you guys might literally have an entity and you should talk to that entity, see what they want, <laughs> you know, why, they're why are they here for you? That's your best bet to look into it and find it you know but a lot of you guys as i said don't just have entities you also have angels like me i'm like i'm so used to it i'm like i don't even care that could be a thought form that could be an entity that could be just that person being jealous and not able to hold their jealousy or that their envy towards you please tell me more fair please tell me more and hopefully some of this energy is my energy because you know you guys know i've been trying to manifest leaving my hard ass laborious job <laughs> cast the circle um raising vibrations okay yeah cast the circle raising vibrations you guys are going to be meeting people who help you raise your vibrations that's more along the line this is kind of confirming what i said meeting people who are helping you to build, helping you to network. Um, don't be afraid to tell, you don't have to tell people all your ideas, but you know, find out also about other people. Sometimes I listen more than I talk and I might think like, oh, okay, this person would be good for if I wanted this to happen. Like you guys are going to meet a lot of people, whether it be in person or online, spirit, please tell me more. And some of you guys might be looking into, some of you guys might be witches, you might be looking into um, some sort of spell casting circle. And some people there might be some pretty important people, or you might be the important person that could hire somebody you're looking for in um, a coven here. I don't necessarily do magic myself unless I have to. I, once I find something, you know, to be odd or a certain energy, I might cast back protection spell. Okay, yeah, I, I do release spells, maybe even money attracting spells. The elements back to basics. The elements back to basics. Okay, so a lot of you guys are going to be simplifying your life. You're going to be going back to basics. Um, some of you guys also look really good and a lot less. Like you don't really need to layer your clothes so much or not, you know, not like that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, <laughs> you guys don't have to wear the flashiest of things. I feel like you guys stand out. Just your personality here stands out. The elements. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. What else does the collective need to know right now? Midnight moth and distractions are coming up. I feel like a lot of you guys have gotten rid of your distractions when it came down to, okay, reading these all together. Some of your old circle, your old circle could have been holding you back. <laughs> some of these people are noticing that you are attracting in 
like a more elite group of people. Some of these people could have been very jealous of you. I'm feeling like that could have been very heartbreaking for you. Maybe you guys did something first. It was either you guys started to elevate first or maybe you guys took a fall and they kind of felt like they were better than you or somebody here might, you guys just might have a real triumphant story. These people might even try to emulate your stories. Maybe you removed yourself from a toxic environment. You had to, maybe there was nobody supporting you. Some of you guys had to up and leave like abusive relationships or, you know, I don't know, your family could have given you a short time period. You got three months to get your itch together and get out my house. Some of you guys could have had parents that passed on. So you kind of had to get it out the mud. Some people here might be trying to emulate that energy. They might be lying. Oh, my parents argue. So now I got to move across the country with my best friend, Jake. And some of these people are straight up lying <laughs> about what they got going on just to compete with you. Some of these people are feeling bad that they lied to compete with you. Some of these people might be getting shamed because they should have supported you. And when it comes to the back to the basics, somebody here might also be wanting you to think in basic terms. Like they, they don't like how unique your life is. They don't like how magical your life is, you know? They might want to come in and try to distract you here. They might want to want you around because they feel like if you were around, they could shoot down your ideas better and that it would stop you from believing in yourself. Like anything you say, they might knock it down and they could control where you're going more. Like, you know, so <laughs> of course, always be wary of different people who are trying to come back into your life. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Mud and moss, stagnation. If any of you guys are feeling any sort of stagnation, I feel like it's going to be clearing up soon, especially after the new moon. Shout out to my moon sensitive people. I mean, not after the new moon, after the full moon. Shout out to my full moon sensitive people or my moon sensitive people. And, it, and not only that, if you're feeling stuck, some of you guys might also need to add more protein in your diet. I like the Body Fortress protein shake because it has all the added BCAs if you're not into taking supplements or shakes, which they're made of natural things. You met me, I take them because, you know, I'm like throughout the day, I simply just don't be having enough time to prepare a full meal who, that has all those additives in it so you know <laughs> i like me a protein shake and it keeps the body like you know more muscly more you know i don't know how to explain it like thick in the right way <laughs> if you're into that so if you that might also help with around like pms premenstrual things protein i need like a protein shake a day it keeps my energy up without that I notice I'm more tired personally. Let's jump into the Money Moves Oracle deck here. I feel like that's real relevant. Well, I could feel chills. Like some of you guys are going to make it to like higher heights. Like some of you guys, all right, if you're having trouble networking and like, I don't know, say the content creator community, maybe you've been making reels, you've been making TikToks, you've been doing YouTube and it's still not progressing and whatnot. Some of you guys might be venting this to someone and it might be the right person that's either going to give you the right advice or inspire you to, I don't know, do things more <laughs> or you're going to be meeting someone that might put you, like I said, on a professional team. This person might work for like a TV network or something like that, you know, where they might be able to hire you or, you know, get you off and get you going and then you're going to learn more from there. <laughs> Especially since you did a lot of the inner work here, a lot of people are drawn towards you. You'd be surprised how many people are drawn towards people who actually face their shadow side, people who are 
balanced in their emotions. I feel like some of you guys might be feeling like you're not doing enough with the back to basics elements. You might be feeling like, oh, like I got to be extra. I got to be like ratchet. Like I got to twerk or something to get attention to my music. Some of you guys don't have to. Like if you're <laughs> you're more, what is that? I always think it's sultry or I think like Kurt Cobain, he's kind of, he's very melodic, but you know, he could be like very, what is that? Like, <laughs> like very, like, you know, not as seemingly enthusiastic and that's okay. Me, I'm not the most enthusiastic person myself. Like a lot of people are like, you sound like the female version of that clear eyes guys. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't care because he was still an actor. And that's Ferris Bueller's day off. He was still on TV and you still know him. Clear eyes. <laughs> you know? I'm like, good, clear your eyes, you know. Spirit, please tell me more. And then, you know, the some of you guys might be that too, like that mellow, but still. What am I trying to say? You you mellow you might be mellow, but you still pack a punch. You still hit. You you know, you're still felt, you're still noticed. Don't get too caught up in crowds that feel like they have to be loud, yelling over each other to get heard. I notice as a mellow person, a lot of people will sit down next to me and talk to me one on one. And that causes, you know, the better situations because they, they know my energy is not <laughs> unless i really really know you you know spirit please tell me more and some of you guys are like that and that is okay yes that does you know do what you do feel comfortable in yourself you know get to know you opportunity new job opportunities change of workplace or business trip i told you change is coming change is on the way this is going to it feels like almost like a i don't know you might be getting that feeling of getting on like a roller coaster just before the roller coaster takes off you could feel it going up in the air maybe your spirit feels it like you know I'm hearing that song, Billionaire by Carol. Carol, I think it is. You're a billionaire with a shotgun and you feel it in the back of your throat. Maybe it's the lonely night. So the days gone by, you know where you gotta go. So you hit the streets for what, for a midnight stroll or just to walk the fresh air? <laughs> Yeah. And then that person kind of just walking into it. That was a powerful song. Yeah. I believe it's Carol Billionaire. Because that person just hit the streets for a midnight stroll or just the breath of fresh air. Yeah. Wellness. Ensure your body is nourished. Join a gym and regain strength. Live a healthier lifestyle. I told you, some of you guys, if you're feeling a bit stagnant or a bit lazy, walking, lifting, and protein supplements. Some of you guys might need more protein. Some of you guys might need more vitamin D. Vitamin B helps to energize you. Those are my go-to things when I'm feeling low. Spirit, please tell me more. We got money tree. Money tree, dreams come true. You will get what you have long desired. I told you. I'm like, it's not going to be nothing but good cards coming out money tree it's like few background energy that no they can't even get towards you they can't really f with you like yeah i'm hearing that kendrick lamar song i think it's money trees too when he's like a dollar might just turn to a million and then i'm hearing that love one of you bucket headed hoes no way <laughs> spirit please tell me more spirit please tell me more 
We got fertility. It's time to think about family life and children. Don't sacrifice family for career. I feel like a lot of you guys might um, be able to start a family business if you get along with your family or you're going to be able to have a new job that allows you to have a family over a career or someone could be regretful that um, your family could be regretful that they pushed you so hard where, you know, to have a certain type of career, they could have felt like they judged you too much and it made you like pull your energy away and just live your own life when it says don't choose, hmm. Or somebody here could be trying to shame you no matter what you do. If you didn't have a job, they're like, oh, you know, you're you, all you are is a baby mama or, <laughs> you know, you're lazy. You don't do anything. You still don't have a job and blah, 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 blah. And then you do get a job. Oh, can you stop working? Can you take the day off? I mean, blah, 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 blah. And I don't know. Somebody could be wanting you to take the day off from work for some sort of event here, maybe like a barbecue or something, they might be mad because they notified you short notice and you weren't able to get that day off. Somebody wants <laughs> would rather you get fired from your job just to attend their event. I don't know. That's not going to resonate with everybody. Or some of you guys don't have kids yet. <laughs> they feel like you're too career focused. That's none nobody's business. You do not need to have children if you don't want to. Love life, free from problems and money troubles. Enjoy the passion of love and be loved. Okay. So yes, yeah, some of you guys might be being told, don't forget about your love life when it comes to career. Maybe some of you guys are afraid that a love life might stagnate your career. So <laughs> you didn't want to, um, I don't know, take anybody on because you felt like you would lose energy, especially maybe in the past, you had people that could make you depressed. They might've made, made you drain. They could have I don't know, made things stagnant for you, but now maybe you'll meet somebody who doesn't make things stagnant for you. Love life, hmm. And you're gonna have a love life free from problems and money troubles. Enjoy the passion of love, love and be loved. So maybe money problems were a thing in your current situation or situations in the past and that's no longer going to be a problem. Maybe some of you guys feel like you got to work on yourself before you have a lover. Or you might have a lover here feeling like they got to work on themselves before they make moves towards you. Well, I feel like that's it. I feel like I'm going to pull some angel numbers. We're going to end the reading. That was a nice reading. Divine, please give me the best angel numbers. And I feel like people around you can feel this coming for you. People around you might be saying that too. They might be like, you know, the way pile, pile three, the way <laughs> the collective is moving. Because I was thinking about doing this as a pick a card, but I was like, I'm going to do this all at once. Two of diamonds, eight, yeah, two, eight. 282, we pulled these two twos before, 282. So all these twos is letting me know that yes, you're making connections business-wise and two, yes, some of you guys are about to make love connections. And with the eight in the middle, it's like no more fighting for money, finances. You got money coming on the way, you got abundance coming in, you got a team coming in for you, you know? A lot of the pain and stuff you experience is going to be a thing of the past. And let's look up the meaning. Okay, 282 is the country code to Libya. Some of you guys could be from Africa, or you might think be thinking about visiting Africa. You might be wanting to go to Libya. You might have family or ancestors from Libya watching over you. Um, Angel number 282 
is a message from your angels that wealth and abundance is flowing steadily into your life due to your persistent positive affirmations, visualization, self-belief, and positive attitude. Your angels encourage you to keep up the good work and allow miracles to happen in your life. Find a comfortable balance between your material and spiritual worlds, and you will have peace and contentment in your life. Angel number 282 tells you to listen to your intuitive and angelic guidance and messages in regards to your career and income earning capacities as they are heading, yeah, I told you, career and income earning capacities, as they are heading you in the right direction, your financial and monetary needs will be met in miraculous ways. As one door is closing, another is opening in your life. So trust your intuition and your angels to guide you towards new opportunities and positive abundance. Use your natural inner wisdom and manifestation abilities to bring about your desires and give up the fear of how sorry it jumped hair angel numbers Capacities, live your life, trust your intuitions, use your natural brain desires, give up the fear of how to make ends meet, have faith and trust that your angels and universal energies will ensure your prosperity. Angel numbers 282 also may also be suggesting that it is time to consider beginning or expanding a spiritually based profession, practice, or career, or heart-centered based service if you feel so inclined. Remain balanced and focused and always draw from your own inner strength, wisdom, and light. Listen to your intuitive knowing, seek out avenues, interests, and call to your soul. Be true to yourself, discern what you want your soul to express, find your power, and fulfill your spiritual destiny in creative and joyous ways. <laughs> yes, that, that kind of summarized the whole reading there. I love that angel number. So uh, I hope this resonated. Um, I hope you got what you got from this. Thank you so much for watching. I have a good day, night, evening, whenever you're catching this reading. Love you guys and bye.